Now guys, listen up, because this is just how easily you can walk into a scam here. He's in shock for sure, isn't he? He says he can see the bone in his hand. Good afternoon, guys. We're leaving Krabby today. If Nat has planned our route properly, then we will be in Bangkok tomorrow. 15 hours it's gonna take us. Our first experience on a sleeper bus. Well, it's supposed to be a sleeper bus, but looking at the pictures, it looks like it's just a normal bus. No beds, so we might be very tired tomorrow. This is the slowest bus ever. It's making all sorts of noises. And I'm pretty sure we are gonna miss the next bus. Definitely. He's going five kilometers an hour. We have found the best snacks. They are so good. Oh mate, bit of a nightmare here. One of the passengers has just walked into a glass door behind me. Pissing with blood. Uh, might miss our bus now. He's in shock for sure, isn't he? He says he can see the bone in his hand. He's bleeding everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 he's, he must have been on his phone or something. He's just walked straight into a glass door. See how this one turns out, eh? We made it. 7.40. Now I've got to try and sleep on this. Let it be known, this is the journey Nat booked on her own without me there. And now, now, now look at us. Listen, the lady said that this was a sleeper bus and there was beds and it was really comfortable and so, what was the best to do? But there's no beds. It's not comfortable. Um, I'm probably not gonna sleep. Nat, Nat, why don't we have a nice little sleep under the blue lights? <laughs> this is how you sleep on the night bus, mate. <laughs> Alright, they do stop for food. It's about half twelve. It's about half twelve and uh, we stopped. I've just had two green curries with rice. Really nice as well, actually. Only 80 baht. If I could eat more, I would. Mate, I need to find where the men's toilets is. I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, sick, man. I don't know how long they give you to get off here. But I was scared that they would leave without me, so I ate my food real quick. But we've been sitting here for a while. We've, we've actually probably been here for about half an hour. <clears throat> so don't feel rushed. Good morning, Bangkok. I'm actually, I'm actually quite excited to be here. Lovely. I mean, it's not the hustle and bustle yet. It's quite nice actually at the, like, at the moment because it's early. But I, I, yeah, it's quite a nice change of scenery. All right, okay, let's mix it up. Well, well, I've just checked the time and it's 5:40 in the morning. We was meant to get here at half six and we left uh, late because the dude walked into the glass panel. But we're exploring the streets of Bangkok. I've got a 7-Eleven toasty. Yes. First one. Her first one. Mate, look at these fruits. Mm. These. Wow. Well, we're going to have to come back and try some of this stuff later. Oh, There's a frog. Hmm? There's a frog. Where? Man can me. Right there. Where? Oh yeah. Little city. Place for him to be in. A little city frog and, and a cockroach. cockroach. Oh, two yeah. cockroach. Oh, maybe huge. Oh. We decided to get a grab to our accommodation. It is an hour and forty-six minute walk. This place is actually huge, way bigger than I thought. On the map, it doesn't even look like that's that far. They let us check in at 7 a.m. They serve tea and coffee from 7 till 10. They serve toast from 7 till 10. 
There is a water machine available, there's only one bar to fill, fill your whole bottle up. They give you free water in the room, all for £9 a night. Madness. This place is sick. The only thing is, the bed is not very comfortable, but that, that's a small price to pay with everything else you get here. I'd rather be in a nice five-star hotel. We're backpacking, we don't do that. Right, two hour nap complete. Let's go and explore. Now the first thing you're gonna notice when you get into Bangkok is these bird's nests of cables everywhere. The roads are actually chaos here. Red lights don't matter. Green man doesn't matter. There's a lot of traffic and they're all just kind of doing what they want. Bangkok is just a complete overload of your senses. There's no exaggeration. Everything is loud. There are good smells and bad smells everywhere and they are in your face 24 seven. You have to be constantly alert because this place is not pedestrian friendly. It's mental. Now, because it's so busy here, it's actually not very smart to get taxis and grabs and that during the day because it's just so busy it will take you ages and it costs quite a lot so a way a good way to get around is actually to go uh, by boat along the river uh, so we're just at the place now just trying to work out if we can actually do that right, look at these There are sharks. What the hell? Yes, we found a canal boat. There's stops all the way down the river, and we're basically going all the way down the river right now to a place called Arthur or something like that. It's a long way basically, and it's only costing us 32 baht for both of us to get down there. Way cheaper than going on the roads, and it's real quick as well. You can just go straight down. So uh, that's definitely a top tip there for, for getting around in Bangkok for on a budget. Let me on, let me on, let me on. This is probably the longest bit of the whole journey because it's actually been very smooth. Don't fall in the river. Gosh, oh, easy as that. That's just taken us 10 minutes to get down the river. It took us 20 minutes in the, in the grab earlier. Mad. Nothing can prepare you for how big this place is. It is mental, it's so overwhelming. There's not really even much point in me telling you where I'm eating because the likelihood of you actually walking through here is pretty slim. I'll tell you anyway, the place we've chosen here is called Chai's House. I'll show you what the food's like. The prices are really reasonable as well. The drinks were good, but I forgot to film them so you just have to take my word for it. Everything's amazing, actually. Really nice food, really good drinks, really good prices, quite a good spot. If you do walk past here, I definitely recommend coming in here. It's well nice, so it doesn't look like much from outside, but mate, they're, they're usually the best ones. Right, guys, listen up, because this is just how easily you can walk into a scam here. Okay, guy, a guy comes up to you, I'll give you free information about the city. We're like, oh, I swear, yeah, because it's very overwhelming here. Uh, he starts telling you about the floating markets, where they are and how to get there and all this. And then all of a sudden he starts saying, oh, actually, you can just get a tuk-tuk for 40 baht. And I was thinking, that's pretty good. Like, 40 baht is pretty cheap for a tuk-tuk. And he was like, oh, I'll, I'll get it for you because it's, it's cheaper, it's cheaper. You, if you can speak Thai, it's cheap. I was like, all right, I have actually heard that before. He was like, oh, just walk that way towards the floating markets, say see sit bath. And then they will say, they all know that that means 40 baht and it apparently it means you get it for 40 baht. And I was like, all right then, obviously we ain't really slept too well last night. So I was like, okay, yeah, sweet as. He was like, yeah, just walk that way and find a tuk-tuk. And then we started walking, he goes, oh wait, there's a tuk-tuk there, there's a tuk-tuk there. And he's like, hey mate, hey, see sit bath and all this to him. And uh, and I was like, oh, all right, sweet, well he's found one for us. And then we we got on there, on the tuk-tuk and we both just looked at each other and we thought, where are we going? We're going somewhere and we're gonna pay 1,300 each when we get there, but we're getting a cheap ride there. I thought this, this actually doesn't feel right at all. We're gonna go, what, we don't even know what we're doing. 
So we got him to pull over, gave him the 40 bar and got, got off. But that just shows how, how quickly it moves so fast. And you, before you know it, you're on the back of a tuk-tuk, going somewhere you don't even know where you're going. So part of the fun of it, man, it's crazy. First impressions of Bangkok. It's definitely got its own charm. I think we just completely underestimated just how big this place is. A lot of uh, Bangkok is actually quite run down. And there's not really a, a central sort of business di district here either. So it is quite difficult to find good spots or there's no sort of centre. It's just kind of busy areas spread out across a very large area. Check this out as well, they've got like an exercise park here. It looks like a mad oasis. It looks really pretty in there. Just in the middle of the city, you've just got this mad oasis where everyone's running, doing classes and that. It's pretty cool. Guess keeps people outside. Although it is bloody hot out here, I'd much rather be in the air conditioning. Oh, another canal boat. <laughs> The Wat Arun Temple. It's apparently the really good one for sunset. I think they're all just as good as each other. To be honest, they look they're all impressive in their own way. But this one is pretty cool. It's like a big. It's like a big. Uh... Yeah. What? It's like a big penis. <laughs> Entry to Wat Arun. 100 baht per person. Females have to cover up. Like you do look like a monk. <laughs> Men don't have to cover up because we're not sexual enough. Well, this place is pretty impressive. Look at it. This temple is over 300 years old. Man, it was built in the 17th century. <whistles> well, history lesson here for you. This, was, this is now a history channel. Those red robes are also loans. They 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 start for a donation. Just gave them a few bars. So you just if you're not if you haven't got the right clothes on, don't worry about it. You can still come here and you can just borrow the clothes, borrow the cover-ups while you're here. The ferry port to get back across the river is just next to that temple, Wat Arun. There's going to be so many tuk-tuk drivers and taxi drivers trying to sell you tours and rides round to this side for, for over 1,000 baht per person. You do not need to do that. All you have to do is get a canal boat uh, from any of the stops and it stops here at Watarun, right at the temple. It costs us 16 baht each and now we're just going back across the river, just going straight across, 5 baht per person. It's, all, it's so close, you, there's no need to be getting these expensive rides around. Mate, check this out. It's like a little dinosaur. It's a little baby crocodile. And they're not eat, they're quite tall. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh. Wow. 